Ever dreamt of making your very own games in Unity? Knowing how to code in C-Sharp is the key for creating your very own projects. In this video series, we are going to dive into the essentials of C-Sharp for Unity and we are going to apply each concept hands-on in a simple project. Next, we will create together a simple 2D game where the player needs to face waves of enemies so that you can solidify your knowledge about coding in C-Sharp. Now, this series is designed for complete beginners, but let's get one thing clear. We are focusing on the essentials, not just basics. C-Sharp is vast with many layers and features, but to make games we only need to use fraction of those features, like events, for loop or float type, and we use those concepts most of the time, and that's what I want to teach you. With that out of the way, let's start by installing Unity. If you already have Unity installed, just skip to the last chapter of this video where we create our first c -sharp script. We will need two main tools, Unity, so the game engine, and Visual Studio, so where we write our code. First, head over to Unity's website and you will need to download Unity Hub and follow the instruction to install it. After installing Unity Hub and running it, you will probably need to sign in or create an account, so follow those instructions until you are signed into Unity Hub. When you're done with that, in Unity Hub select on the left the Installs category and on the right in the top right corner you will see this Install Editor button, so select it and here we can select the Unity version that we want to install. We want to select the long-term support version, so currently it is 2022.3.20 F1. Just click Install. In the next window, make sure to include uh, the Microsoft Visual Studio 2022, as we will need it for writing our c -sharp code. When you are done with that, just click Install, and it can take some time to install the Unity Editor. Once installed, go back to the left panel to the Projects category, and in the top right corner we are going to select the New Project, Button. Here, at the top, you can select the Unity version. For me, it will be 2022.3.20, so the one that we have just installed. And we are going to look at the bottom for the 2D URP template, which uses the new Universal Render Pipeline. If you do not have it installed, you may need to go to the right and select Download Template. And when you're done, just select this template, go to the right, and in the project's name, just give it a, pro a name. So I'm going to call mine C Sharp. Essentials, deselect connect to Unity Cloud, we do not need that, and go to the create project button in the bottom right corner and just click it. Unity will start opening the project, so give it a minute and we are going to continue. When the project opens, you should see Unity interface. In the middle you will see the scene tab, which is where we are going to place our game objects. If you hover over the name, you can hold the left mouse button and drag it, and I will want to modify the layout, so I will drag it to the left hand side of my project. Now the game view will pop up this blue screen, I will use, move this as well and I will move it to the bottom left corner. Now this is what I want to work with, so I will just drag those uh, around and this is the layout that I will be using. Now on the right we now have the hierarchy and the project tab, I will drag the line between those a bit higher and there is also a console which will show us our errors uh, when we make one in our script. So this is pretty important, I will drag it to the bottom of this uh, column and this is the layout that I will be using throughout this tutorial. If you like it, you can go to the top right corner and select this default drop down list and at the bottom you should have this save layout. If you don't like it, you can go back to the default which will go back to the default layout of Unity. One more thing, by default in the projects tab you have this slider and the icons are pretty big. I like to have it uh, to the minimum and the icons are really small, this is the way I prefer to work in Unity. Now before we can create our 2D game, we need to spend some time in the simple 2D project where I plan to teach you the fundamentals of c -sharp and how to create scripts in Unity. For this to be a hands-on experience, follow along with me. In the Unity editor, we are going to search for the hierarchy tab and here we can add game objects to our scene. We are going to use this plus icon at the top and if we click on it, you can see the categories that we can select. I will go for 2D object, sprites 
and I will select the circle. And it should already appear in your scene view in the center and also in your game view if it is at the position 0, 0, 0, which you can see on the right side of Unity in the Inspector tab in the Transform, you can see position 0, 0, 0. I'm going to rename this to Player since this will be the representation of our player. Great. Now let's repeat the process to add the weapon. So let's go back to our hierarchy, select the plus icon, 2D objects, sprites, and now we are going to select a square. And I'm going to call this weapon. Okay. Now we need to go to the scene view and to make sure that we drag it away from our player representation, we need to use the move tool, which we can access by pressing W, or you can just select this arrow button on the left move tool. And we are going to use the red arrow, just click on it and drag it to the left. So now if you take a look at the game view, we have our square as well as our circle, so our player and our weapon. I know this isn't the prettiest setup that you have probably seen, so let's change it a bit. Let's go to the hierarchy, select our player object by clicking on it. You should see the inspector and the sprite renderer. So let's give some color to our player, just selecting the sprite renderer component, select the color and just give it some color. I'm going to select green and do the same with the weapon object. So selecting in the hierarchy, in the inspector, in the sprite renderer component, select the color and I'm going to give it a color, maybe something uh, purple. And this is it now. But since we are here to learn to code, let's create our first script. In the Unity editor, we want to go to the Projects tab, which will, in my case is in the center of the screen. And here in any folder, we are going to just right click, select Create. And here we have all the different assets that we can create. And we want to select the C Sharp script. So let's create this one. And I'm going to call this Weapon. When you have it, just double click on it to open Visual Studio. When it opens, you will see your basic template code that Unity provides for us. Now, I will be usually working with this view of Visual Studio since this way you can see more of the code that we write. Now, I will be explaining how this script works through the next few videos, but for now, just follow along with me since I want you to write your first script in Unity. We will create the logic of the weapon rotating or revolving around the player. To do that, in our script we need to find update method, so it is somewhere at the bottom. Update method is a method or code that runs every frame in our game. We need to go in between those curly brackets of the update method, since it is its scope. And here we are going to type transform. And you should see IntelliSense from Visual Studio, so it is giving us a hint of what we may want to be trying to type. So we want to type Transform. Now Transform is a component in Unity which allows us to move objects in the 2D or 3D space. Now to access uh, the movement capabilities of our Transform component, we need to type dot and we are going to type rotate around. And this is the method that we are going to use to make our square rotate or revolve around our circle, so our player representation. To make it work, we need to add parentheses, and inside of those parentheses, we are going to type vector3.0. And this will be the center point of our rotation. Next, we are going to type comma, because we need to pass another parameter, which is the vector3 axis, so we are going to type vector3.forward. This is because in Unity we have y, X and Z axis, and we are going to select a 2D view, and here we are going to use the red, so X axis and green, so Y axis to move our object, but we are going to rotate the object on the third axis, so this is the Z axis, and this represents the rotation in 2D games. In code to use the Z axis, we type forward, and you can see shorthand for vectors 3, 0, so X, 0, so Y, and 1 on Z. Now, we need to specify how much we want to rotate each frame our weapon, so we are going to type comma and we are going to type 200 multiplied, so asterisk sign, and we are going to type time dot delta time with the capital T. And uh, this is the amount of time that passed uh, from the last frame, so this will make our movement continuous. And at the end, we need to add a semicolon. Think about it as putting a full stop at the end of a sentence. 
This lets the C -sharp compiler know that we have finished writing our line of code. If I delete the semicolon from the end, you will see red squiggly line appearing here, informing us that we have made an error in our code, and the error is semicolon expected. So unless we fix it, our code will not run. So we need to add the semicolon, and now we have no more red squiggly lines, meaning that our code is okay. Now, you should see an asterisk near the name of our script. This means that our script is not saved, we need to use Ctrl or Command S to save it, or you can go to the file and you should have save assets slash weapons dot cs our script control s and this will save our script. We wrote our logic but we need to inform unity to start using our script. So let's go back to unity editor. Back in unity editor just find your weapon script in the projects tab and drag it onto the hierarchy onto the weapon object. If we select the weapon object in the hierarchy you will see that it has a transform component sprite render as well as our weapon script. So now Unity knows to use your code on this weapon object. And to test it, just go to the top of the Unity window and you should find the display button. So just press it and after a bit you should see in the game view that your square is now moving or revolving around your circle representing your player. And this works thanks to the script that you just wrote. When you're done looking at your magnificent creation, just go to the top of Unity and press again the play button to stop the playback. And that's basically how you write c -sharp scripts in Unity. Now let's go to the next video where I will explain what exactly did we write in our script and how it all works together with Unity. And before that, big thanks to all the patrons that are supporting my channel. Thanks to you guys, I can keep making those Unity tutorials.